The healing process from injury and surgery is always a slow and painful process. Rehab from catastrophic injuries, however, can tax the modalities of the finest trainer. The challenge is simple. Achieving maximum levels of range of motion, strength, proprioception, attitude, and function without inflicting further harm to the patient's affected area. And our other products offer outstanding benefits for rehabilitation, conditioning, training, and athlete recruitment. As you will see and hear, aquatic therapy speeds the recovery process for both the patient's physical injuries and mental well-being. Psychologically, it's better for the athlete. They feel like they're getting back uh, closer to their pre-injury level of fitness. Getting these guys in the pool, there's not an argument. They enjoy getting in here. They see the other athletes, the accomplishments that they're doing, how much faster they're rehabbing. So we can get these guys to come in, and the girls the same way. We can get more aggressive with our treatment, and we can accelerate rehab. For example, if I have an athlete with an ankle sprain, he may be unable to fully weight bear on land and be on crutches, but when we put him into the water, the buoyancy of the water significantly unloads him, and he may be able to exercise very safely in the water, and that way we can be aggressive in his rehabilitation, but we can be safe at the same time. The concept is simple. The results are real. Water provides buoyancy and viscosity. Buoyancy aids your patient's movements while resisting gravity. Impact is minimal. Viscosity, the thickness of water, produces three-dimensional resistance to all movements. Simply put, it's a lot harder to exercise in water than on land, while at the same time substantially lowering the chances of further injury and pain. The temperature and pressure of the water also assist with circulation and the relaxation of muscle. The biggest advantages of aquatics is, is the buoyancy factor. We can unload our athletes and for uh, low extremity injuries where we want to uh, decrease the weight bearing, I think it's, it's a tremendous upside. Um, I think another one is accommodating resistance. Uh, many times from a rehabilitation standpoint, uh, we may have an athlete that uh, we need to uh, modify their, their resistance for strength training because of pain or for other, other various reasons. And we can have accommodating resistance. The harder they push in the water, the more the water resists. The easier they push, the easier resists. So it's uh, it's uh, very easy for them to perform in. They feel very comfortable in there. Again, as you go down in water, you have compression. You have some more pressure to build up so we can move some of that tissue, that edema, in the body parts quicker. One of the things, we keep our pool at about 92 degrees. So by putting the players in the water, I know I'm going to increase the circulation to that body part. Professional, college, and even high school sports trainers have discovered the benefits of aquatic therapy. The high resistance of water coupled with its minimal impact on the patient delivers scar tissue management, soft tissue mobilization, joint mobilization, progression from a passive range of motion to a maximal range of motion, edema reduction, modulation and reduction of pain, increased muscular activity and recruitment of muscle fibers to increase muscular strength and endurance, and a progression to a level of maximal proprioception. Aquatic therapy allows early weight bearing by unloading the weight and stress on the joints while providing a supportive buoyancy to muscles. It also provides a hydraulic resistance whereby the patient's muscular, proprioceptive, and endurance activity can be increased according to their individual level of tolerance, confidence, and healing. Well, working with our athletes, we can jump in the pool a lot sooner with them. The total body weight is not on the athletes. So again, knee rehab, ankle rehab, low back surgeries, we can deal with our athletes. They don't have to support their total body weight. We're going to decrease the uh, amount of torque that's put on that body part. If the water is up to up to the sternum on the individual athlete, you're going to decrease the body weight anywhere from 60 to 70 percent. So we're able to move the player back into functional work quicker than we would be if we had to take them out on the field. Well, with the water, again, you can use water as resistance. So even on the treadmill, as you're walking, your legs are having to go through the water. You're creating some more force on the legs, the lower body, but there's not that pounding effect right there. So we can work with our athletes 
and they get out of the pool, they can feel their heart rate. You can see they had a good workout. But after they get out, they said, man, I'm tired. Pools My body can be custom work. designed to match your facility and meet your needs. Our pools offer several unique features, such as a window for viewing your patient's movements. Thick wood beams surrounding the pool are ideal for attaching additional equipment. And the deep well is the perfect venue for stationary exercise. And as you can see, these pools and look they great. basically made the pool to the, to the dimensions that I wanted. I can see into the pool. I can watch the gait pattern. I can watch their legs. If they're not bringing their leg up high enough, if the knee's not a normal range of motion on that leg, we can catch up very quickly. Uh, it's a good sell point with the athletes because other athletes watch the injured athlete in the tub. And they're seeing the benefits that he's getting. So it's a big draw on that aspect. Because aesthetically, it's pleasing to an 18-year-old coming in as Our far as recruit. Our offer maximum conditioning and workout with a swim-in-place variable speed current. This swim-in-place current allows control for swimming laps without actually moving. The swim current is instantly adjustable to accommodate any swimmer's level of skill and training. The variable flow speed controls permit you to exercise in water flows ranging from the old mill to a raging river. This means that your facility won't require an Olympic-sized pool. To provide your patients a variety of workout options, we also offer a variable speed underwater treadmill that allows walking or running for miles. The underwater treadmill has variable speeds to match all levels of ability. Whether they're used for rehab, training, or conditioning, underwater treadmills provide maximum therapy and workout for the benefits of water. How have athletes benefited from aquatic rehabilitation and conditioning? A lot of our players, we went from you know first part of August after January in the Orange Bowl, and that was a long football season. These guys need to maintain their cardiovascular, staying in shape, but their bodies are just beat down between their shoulders, their back, their knees. So we can get a good workout in here. There's no more pounding on the joints and stuff. We even had some of our former NFL players coming back in the offseason. They live here in Tallahassee, and they're working out in here, and they've enjoyed it the same way. We have players that um, are unable to run out on the field due to the pounding on their back or the knees, to, you know, the age of the players. So we have players that do use the uh, treadmill on a regular basis to do their cardiovascular uh, conditioning. From a conditioning standpoint, uh, for example, if I have an athlete that we're trying to emphasize speed training on, I may get him in the deep end of the flotation vest and do some sprint type training with him. Uh, we also use it on conditioning for maybe an athlete who has limitations. So for example, if I have an athlete who has a broken leg, is in a cast, we may uh, put a fiberglass cast with a Gore-Tex lining on him or her. We can put them in a pool and flotation vest and tap them to the side and work on cardiovascular training for 30 to 45 minutes. 300 pound lineman after HCL reconstruction, once his incisions healed from surgery, we typically wouldn't have them running on dry land for about four months just because of his size. But with the water, you know, taking that gravity and that, the, the pounding out of it, you know, basically we got them in the water at two months. We've had players with um, upper body extremity injuries and they've been position players where we've had to go and get them back into the functional mode and we have a short baseball bat that we use and we take it into the pool with us and they swing underwater just to offer some resistance and help build strength in their functional patterns and uh, it ends up getting a little wet and messy back there but um, the players really you know anything we can do to make their rehab functional um, makes them want to do it more and more. Rehab needs to be fun you know uh, if, if you do the same thing every day it gets monotonous and one of the things I think the pool gets capable to do is do different things every day and one day we may do dryland training one day we may do aquatic rehab or the same day we may intersperse both of those like we were talking about they actually come in now they want to come in they want to get in the pool they want to work out it's another form of therapy that we can use that's enjoyable as we say fundamentals we want to make it fun for them